with Mark Murphy. Hey, Kemba. Come on. Um, you know, there's only going to be a fraction of fans in the building tonight. Uh, but after playing in an empty home building all this time, just how much of an impact could they have? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be great. I think it's going to be great. Um, you know, we have some great fans, um, you know, especially in that building. Um, the energy is always electric, you know, whenever the fans get the opportunity to show up. So, you know, I think even though it's going to be a small amount of people, I think it's going to be, you know, really great. You know, just good to see people in the stands and, and you know, hear some some real fan noise and instead of some fake fan noise. So it'd be cool. Chris Gasper. Hey, Kemba, uh, you guys have uh, played the fewest home games, tied for the fewest home games in the NBA. Um, now you know. get this. <laughs> now you now you get the stretch where out of the the final, um, you know, 26 here, 16 are at home, including seven in a row. How much do you think that will help you guys? And how much have you guys been looking forward to this stretch when you are backloaded with home games? Man, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Um, just feel like I've been on the road this whole year, this whole season. Um, you know, which can be tough at times, you know, especially with, you know, the pandemic going on. Things are just a, a, a little bit different being on the road. So, um, yeah, it's really, really great to get back home and, you know, be here for, you know, an extended period of time and not, not have to worry about, you know, leaving. So, yeah, I think it's going to help us. Um, you know, it, sh it should help us, you know, establish a, you know, a good rhythm, um, you know, just, 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 just being at home, you know, just really good for us. John Corrales. <clears throat> yeah, Kim, to follow up on that, because Brad was talking the other day and he kind of had a similar reaction to you. Like the, this feels like a, like a really big relief for you guys. What, what hasn't been able to happen on the road like that, that you normally would have? Like, Brad mentioned, like, you can't even, like, go to a team dinner. You can't have, like, is that all can't stuff that kind of, like, chips away? Does can't that all do chip away bro. at what you're, you're... – <laughs> Can't do anything. <laughs> you literally can't do anything. Like, can't go outside. You can, we can, you can go outside for about an hour, I guess, now. But everything is just it's just just different. Like, like, yeah, you can't go to dinner. Can't go visit your friends, you know, that you have on the road. Um, it's just, yeah, most of the time you just kind of cooped up in the room or just, you know, around the hotel. Um, it's just, it's just different. Brian, Rob. Hey, Cam, I don't think we've had a chance to talk to you since, uh, you guys added Evan. Um, have you guys, have you been able to, you know, talk to him, in a, you know, either in person yet or text with him and just what? What do you think about what he can bring to you guys after, you know, you've obviously seen him a ton over the years? Um, yeah, I think with the addition of Evan, it's, it's going to help us a lot. You know, he's he's a great player. Um, you know, me playing at seven over the years, you know, I know how, how well he can score it, you know, how well he can get other guys involved, how much he competes and how much he wants to win. Um, he has great passion for the game, you know, which, you know, always is a boost. Um, you know, especially for us, um, he's 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 going to be great for us, and I can't wait to, you know, get him acclimated. Dave Borges. Hey Kim, just switching switching gears real quick. Uh, the, the ten year anniversary of the uh, the twenty eleven national title coming up. I just wanted to, uh, you to look back and just your thoughts on that whole that whole run, even starting in maybe in Maui in November and to the Big East tournament and. Um, ultimately the NCAAs. How do, how do you look back at that period in your life? To be honest, like, I really just, I'm in awe. Like, I just can't believe it's, it's about to be 10 years already. Um, just kind of seems like yesterday, to be honest, um, especially now. You know, it's bringing back a lot of memories now that I'm watching um, you know, the, the, the March Madness tournament right now um, and seeing how these, how these kids are competing and, you know, how bad they want to win the national championship. Um, it's, it's no better feeling. You know, the feeling is, 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 is pretty unbelievable. Um, but, yeah, man, just 
10 years is it's, it's pretty crazy you know when you when you think about it you know time time flew by um those were some great memories and yeah i'm i'm looking forward you know i know april 4th is the day um but yeah i'm looking forward to that day chris ryan hey come but two things uh, if i can one um Talked obviously a lot this year about this team finding themselves and you know, turning points, et cetera. Do you think that this has finally happened, maybe even starting back with the Magic game where you guys started to play collectively, A, and B, your takeaway on what's been going on with the Nets and them adding Marcus Aldridge and the type of uh, talent they put together? What was that? I'm, what was the last part? I'm sorry. Uh, the Nets and what they've been able to do and putting the talent together with Marcus Aldridge joining them. Um, yeah, I think we have found ourselves a little bit and, you know, know, know what we have to do in order to win games on a, on a daily basis. Um, you know, we've been playing extremely hard. We've been moving the basketball pretty well. Um, just trying our best to be in a string as much as possible defensively. Um, as far as the Nets, I mean, they, they were already really good. You know, obviously, adding Marcus Aldridge is, is huge. Adam Blake it was huge. Um, they already had three unbelievable players. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, you know, I don't really pay much attention to them because you now I'm just kind of focused on my team and, you know, how we're going to you know, progress through the rest of the season. So, you know, they are good and, you know, look forward to you no know, battling against those guys. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, yeah.